February 9th and 10th, Tuesday and Wednesday, the sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Pisces. They're right next door to each other. We just left that dark night moon and now there's a little sliver. And this is a really unusual combination because next to the moon right now is Neptune. The moon and Neptune are holding hands. If someone were born with this, they would have the gift of talking to the other side. I know, it's so strange. I only got introduced to this in the last year with one of my clients taught me about mediumship. And there really are people with a combination like this, Aquarius, woo-woo, the deviants, and Pisces, woo-woo, the higher le levels where they're like, in I don't know where they live. They go between the worlds. And there is such a thing as spirits. I mean, I now am a firm believer. And there is such a thing as your dead relatives watching you. Shh, I always wonder, like, do they like, Stop looking at certain points. And there is such a thing as being able to be guided by angels. Now, all that sounds woo-woo, and there's so much Capricorn in the heavens. The Capricorn with the three, they're like, really? We're talking about angels and woo-woo and guides? But if you gave yourself permission to let the Aquarian, who makes up stuff all day and tell you stories, combine with the Pisces imagination and that ground of Capricorn, if you want me to help you believe in this woo-woo stuff, you write to Silverman Support at Gmail, and I'll refer you to someone who, when you get on the phone, this woman knows your grandpa's name, your mother's name, name, what happened to you when you were a kid, and you're like, so there is something to be said about the other worlds. And Aquarius Pisces, their gift is they go between the worlds, they're not limited to this land, and because today there's three planets in Capricorn, this person that was born today, they would have a really wonderful ability to bridge and talk English while they were going woo-woo. And that's my hope this life, that you're believing my credibility, because astrology is crazy. Aquarians are crazy. This whole month's about crazy. But yet there is some credibility to it when it can back actually apply to your ability to get along with yourself or your partner or your kids. Why not try it? So here we are, these two years, Saturn's in Sagittarius. It's right now having a great relationship with um, Aquarius. Did you notice that? That was strange. Scratching your nose in the middle of the video. But I, oh, because I wanted to remind myself. That was what I was doing. I meant to go like this, but I went like this. That's very Aquarius. <laughs> um, Pisces, they're so strange. There's a radio show on Wednesdays on Empower Radio. And that's where I get to give you really a whole hour of information for free. And you can call in and get some in sessions by yourself. Oh boy, this is a little radio day today. This little session today. Pisces is giving me a little space cadet, blah, 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 blah. See, that's what it's like to have moon in Pisces. You can't believe if you have moon in Pisces, just forget about sun and Aquarius. If your moon is in that otherworldly sign of Pisces where it's woo and magic, I promise you this whole video made a lot of sense to you. The rest of you were like, did she just scratch her nose in the middle of it? Okay, astrologyanswers.com brought to you by Deborah Silverman astrology.com. We're together. We're a real team. And I'm here to tell you there is such a thing as going between the worlds. There's a radio show. It's okay to be quirky and unusual because the more you're yourself, the quicker we get to go home.